так okay. so hello everybody let me check stream so today we'll talk about Kim jong -il perspective um i will i will kind of break down some of his illustration so we can see how, how perspective works in his art so everybody talking about um like you know like in the internet let's say in the comments i always have uh, questions somebody ask in the comments like which kind of perspective did you use for this drawing i also ask uh, do you use perspective like kim jong-gi like do you like copy kim jong-gi perspective things things like this but again like what i want to do in my tutorials in my channel is to explain more um, deep more um, give more uh, serious understanding on uh, all this kind of perspective in general um, and uh, i'm not like super master in perspective but uh, i have like a lot of my experience and uh, I spend time to study other works, so here I share here I share this uh, approach how we can study others, uh, and uh, it's, it's very interesting to do this when you uh, study analysis masters, and you understand when you copy them. So I mean study and analysis. I mean you. You copy, you redraw, you recreate their work. Let me check. So uh, when you recreate, when you copy by drawing uh, as a master, then you start to see these new nuances, and you can better understand uh, like principles and. Uh, uh, some like uh, undercurrents uh, so also important not only copy of course it's also important to have more context so you can read or watch interview if this master have book about his drawing process yeah it's important to buy book to, to read in his book like how he talking about his process all this stuff so we need to have more and more information it's important so and back to um, perspective it's like uh, beginners as they always uh, it's like their big game to uh, focus on the basic um, let's say they get concepts basic concepts yeah so they get learn this basic concepts and they just uh, assume they know everything now and they just have these concepts and they like uh, you know like a set of uh um uh, like stiff tools and they will just switch them sometimes they will just say oh okay this is like two point perspective this one point perspective this uh, three point or five point perspective uh, what i suggest is not have this like not stop on this uh, stage when you read uh, books when you learn basic concepts when you understand perspective rules all this stuff you not stop there you go further so to go further you need to apply it uh, often so you need to you, not only like look somebody work and say like haha i understand how he draw all this you know like because i know perspective rules no you need to practice yourself so you learn five point perspective rule okay draw it 
500 times, you know, well, at least. So you can draw your stuff, you can copy somebody's work with various this kind of perspective. So you important you practice application of uh, this basic concept. And then you start to understand that uh, this concept, this idea about typical perspective, kind of like three point or five point perspective, it's, it's more just like a simplification and uh, suggestions. It's, some, it, it's just a way to explain something for beginners. So um, it's, it's like a how to how to understand anything when you have a zero experience and knowledge so for you will be useful to understand to learn these basics but then when you go through basic level you understand okay um, more important is to be flexible and be flexible by understanding principles so it's like more like um, even more basic principles so uh, not basic concepts but basic principles so uh, these principles like uh, you know like uh, something close to you is bigger something far from you is smaller so kind of subconsciously we, we just have this tendency to read it, it this way so you know i mean if like if i will show this kind of stuff right so it's kind of silly but that's what we actually need to use in our work is like this basic super basic concepts same with the horizon line so like horizon line then it's uh, uh, about size right it's like diminishing i guess so then other principle also it's uh uh convergence i, I hope it goes in english so it's like when we have um objects in one line kind of uh they will diminish and uh, it will have this kind of vision of abstract a line which uh, two lines with the, which converge in a horizon line so this just this like basic principles uh what help us to build illusion of space and the illusion of 3d three dimensions kind of right so it's like volume volumetric stuff a vol volumetric forms uh, yeah let's say forms in uh, space yeah so this is what we need we, if we want to show something happen somewhere and we want to make it feels like it's uh, uh, space and uh, uh, things there is located like in the real life they're located in the space something closer something higher something lower so there we need to know which is principles we need to use to make these illusions and uh, how many vanishing points it can be up to you how what kind of like three point five point perspective also up to you this is point of a uh, hand drawing work of being artist it's uh, your freedom to to like bend to bend every like um, common rules you know because there is like some this kind of common concepts they are actually just like a suggestions for for us but uh principles they're more like um they're more simple so they're even more basic but um uh, uh, they give you like this like a notes for musicians uh, or like how many you know like if we have um guitar and uh, it's like 
what elements on this guitar we can use to create music so it's a limited amount of uh, uh, kind of elements on this uh, instrument which can be like um, like dynamically like interacted with right so we can like move uh, chords you know we can press the strings we can do this different stuff with strings all the stuff so um, but they're always there and uh, it's a very basic for you don't need to like reinvent guitar every time when you want to make new composition right you keep doing this every music with the same guitar with the same construction and you improve like combinations and all the stuff same here like we have these basic principles and we just more we practice it uh, better we understand um, how we use them in uh, making very complex work so uh, uh, let's go to Kim Chung Kim <laughs> so what now how long I'm talking already seven minutes okay so uh, Kim Chung Ki like or uh, people always say it's like five point perspective um yeah he often used five point perspective but also he almost never uh, drew perspective grid so his uh, five point perspective is not uh, super accurate it's similar to masamu nishiro like in my previous tutorial masamu nishiro can like ignore horizon line and place it randomly uh, uh, same with um, Kim Jong Ki. Sometimes he's uh, he have mistakes in his perspective, just as a result of uh, ignoring perspective grid. So he, because he don't make pencil sketch before he start to draw in his perspective, he like uh, he eyeballing whole grid. It's like perspective grid is in his uh, imagination kind of when he draw so let's say so usual uh, five point perspective what does it mean so it's like when we have horizon line we have this vanishing point center so it's like vanishing point one then we will have vanishing point two, vanishing point three. It's a uh, yeah. Later we'll explain for what and uh, vanishing point four, vanishing point five. Tuck. So in perspective, like I told before, like it's all about three dimension dimensions three dimensions it's uh, like three planes three axes you can watch again my tutorial there's very simple and quick explanation so it's like this three axes y axis uh, z axis and x axis so if we look in the box a y axis here it's like stands for this edges of the box z axis stands for this edges of the box and the x axis stands for this axis of the box so it means like when we know direction like if we know this will be x this will be z and this will be y so now i can draw box kind of according to this coordinates kind of right so because this x x z z i y and same here z and x it's like very quickly right so here um this will stands for y this line here 
its axis. So and uh, uh, this will converge like this, um, converge curve to a curve like this. So all this y axis happens this thing. It's like will be like gradually change to semi hemisphere. So have on the left and on the right side. So this all it's about y axis which like stands for vertical lines in a sketch um, and uh, 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 this here it's like horizon line this is horizon line and uh, here will happen like perpendicular situation uh, this will be at uh, x x axis so will be like a gradually curve like this so closer to horizon line more flat further from horizon line more round more more curved uh, so above and below so it's like on the total below it will be like like a half circle and the, like when it's like very close to horizon line it's almost flat almost no curvature and uh, so this is x and uh, this lines which go into vanishing point one this is uh, for z so all these lines is going towards z so what we have so if we have this kind of perspective grid Um, this picture, this illustration will be look something like this. I'm not so good like Kim Jong-gi, so I just make very raw sketch. also faster to show tech. people here uh,
Yeah. So, um, so here, what we can see already. So, um, um, tech. This horizon line, right? So, vertical lines going below horizon line, they go and converge downwards like this like if this like three vanishing point perspective situation and lines vertical lines that above horizon line they all converge uh, like if there is vanishing point in a three vanishing point perspective opposite like if we're looking up right so it's like above horizon line we look up below horizon line we look down and uh, here actually uh, what we can see so actual perspective here is different it's not completely five vanishing point in his illustration so i will show you So somewhere here is his vanishing point. So here's horizon line. And here already interesting. So we can see um, this one, these lines, they are more look like this. And uh, it's like uh, in the, the axis, right? So, and then above, lines above. Um, yeah, here's even more interesting. I think I need to draw how to do it. Let me check. Yeah, I will show you here. So, so where's pencil? Mm -hmm. So this um, vanishing point somewhere here. So this will have convergence. Kind of this. Uh, but what happened here um, with these lines? You see, one, two, three, four, So this line, let's say this horizon line here, right? So this line will go somewhere here. This line will go here. So it's like this vanishing point here. And this one going somewhere here this similar direction somewhere similar so like just at least uh, in this couple examples we have like about three or four vanishing points and um, yeah sometimes in some situations it's uh, also, it's like very real situation because um, 
house uh, might be like rotated according to each other so they're not like totally like standing in the line and uh, parallel to each other sometimes they will rotate it so they will have different vanishing points but here is some of these uh, buildings they are definitely tends to be like parallel there you see like there's in the same street parallel to each other so this uh, like more like um, ne negligence and uh, controllable sloppiness so no this is what i mean also before when i say this difference what i notice with uh, master and uh, amateur uh every artist every, like every human being they always not perfect always make mistakes and the uh, amateur he make random mistakes master he control his mistakes so he know he cannot do 100 percent perfect so he what he do he make sure uh, that um important area important part of his work will be correct and will be look uh, convincingly you know so and uh, he let go some other areas which is like secondary or what's called tetraedry tertiary so uh, nobody noticed like we so many time watch Kim jong art and uh, we not usually we don't notice any issues and uh, even more than that most of people they don't want to see any mistakes we want to see miracle we want to see like a genius at work right we want to see like how perfect so and we will convince ourselves like everything perfect here everybody do the things it's how our brain works if you like what, what he did like he um he strike his viewers with this incredibly complex part here draw all these details and perspective so it's blowing our minds it's look look incredible and then we don't care much about all these minor things with the like line direction of this stuff and also what is m very important for us uh it's to know um that there is always room for mistake and perspective so we need to understand like uh, how to make me perspective wrong but uh, make it look like is uh, no mistakes there so is uh, possible when we follow super basic principles if you break these principles okay it's it's ridiculous everybody will notice it look uh, childish or like i don't know like naive art like uh, not realistic at least on purpose or whatever but it will look wrong uh, but if you br break rules in uh, this kind of concepts like uh, perspective grids and all the stuff he, they're not so much organized as they should be you know they should be organized kind of uh, like in a study book but they are not they like dancing around everything like out over the over the place but as long as this follows this super basic principles like uh, closer bigger farther smaller uh, follow horizon line so you make sure like things uh, like um, below horizon line it's something which uh, it's something what will look from up to down something above horizon line it's something which will look like from down to up so like uh, uh, like now like if you see me in the camera here on the left in the no, web camera with me so camera is lower than my head so you look at my head uh, from down to up if camera will be like higher than my head then you will look you will see this image in the camera you will see like if you are looking from 
up to down so it's kind of basic idea basic um, principle in perspective so all this when kim jong-gi breaking small uh, this kind of concepts he never break very fundamental very simple principles so uh, things look according to basic primitive principles like this one we can say it's below perspective is have convergence uh, below horizon line it's have convergence toward towards horizon line and all of them all of them have logic so going next like uh, let's continue here if we say he make it five point perspective here uh, then uh, these buildings must have this kind of perspective because like this right so all buildings should converge this way because vertical lines in five point perspective they will go this because no above horizon line but instead instead we see this movement so i will show you here so here he do for vertical lines he do something like this So you see already difference, right? So uh, this vanishing five point vanishing perspective, five vanishing point perspective. A vertical line should be like this. But uh, he made them like this. So and how you, will you call this, like a uh, special five point vanishing perspective or six point vanishing perspective I, uh, this what i mean it's like it's just uh, not important it's not uh, the, all these names uh is um, no, no not important more important is just to apply basic principles and just know what happened with your access where is y where is uh, z and where is x so when he makes this one here change so when he makes this perspective here why is look solid why is look solid why is not looks like wrong or stuff because we have convergence right so it's like vanishing point and we have these things that are going to vanishing point basic principle like one or two whatever so so it means all parallel lines they will can uh, diminishing kind of here right to to vanishing point so this principle is work here he follows this principle then um uh with uh, this lines uh buildings yeah maybe they are follow a little different directions but they kind of follow uh, same logic somehow they go in to kind of diminishes and meet each other far away on the horizon line right so it's like it's just like a little disorganized but still it's there 
and uh, when he make uh, with vertical lines same thing uh, important is not make sure uh, they follow this uh, kind of established pattern kind of. most important to make sure they will converge so it uh, will converge like you know like this one here <clears throat> or it will be like we can follow same we can even change directions you know so okay now i can show you more crazy so let's say same situation how many different ways we can draw it so it will look similar to five vanishing point perspective but every time something different Tech. let's say we make like this here and uh, and uh, let's say like this will be vertical lines Tuck. ah yeah Close. so x So you see not much not much change so or here uh, let's do is just vertical so and uh, and we'll look everything just straight without without curvature
or uh, let me just uh, try to be like a Kim Jong Gi. So I will like imagine, okay, somewhere here is a vanishing point, and uh, so this will be like horizon line. So and I try just to imagine some kind of grid with a curvature in my mind. one more version let's say uh i don't know here's like i know let's keep the vanishing one vanishing point just okay let's make opposite let's make like a uh, vertical lines will be go like this i don't know let's just see what will happen like this so point here is like uh, it's so many f freedoms so many uh, way how we can bend space and uh, in uh, we can make like you know book with all possible variation of how we can bend all these curves or uh, how many vanishing points so we will call it like 25 vanishing point perspective 39 vanishing point <laughs> or we just approach it as a, like I, I say we make an, so we need to build space we work with a three dimensions so we need to make it clear what is happen with these three dimensions like where is a uh, y axis where is x axis where is z axis and uh, so these principles they're making underlying st structure uh, this structure it's uh, what is uh, making everything convincing you know so it's follow very simple rule and organize everything around this simple principles 
prin uh, simple principles. It will be like maybe that. Oh, entity, hello, let's see your comment. Так. So, uh, five points here or six or six and a half is no important. Again, uh, that's why I always at least I prefer to call it like um, um, to use kind of perspective grids every time. So any kind of picture you have, you need to find where will be direction for Y, where will be direction for Z, and where will be direction for x um no so let's say uh, maybe like here will be z and then here will be y like this it's uh absolutely not follow any standards this is just totally random you know but it's good it looks correct because uh, usually in like every kind of uh, perspective um, kind of this like Two, three, five, and blah, blah, blah. Um, horizon line and the vertical axis should be same vanishing point with uh, the z axis. But you can see sometimes some artists they will ignore this rule and they will do like this like, okay, this z axis here and here is the y axis. And, conver and convergence goes like this, you know. So instead, instead of like this, when uh, in the five point perspective, correct will be make it uh, on the same vanishing point with the uh, z axis. But in reality, is not necessary. So I make this one here. So this Z, this Y. So I need to find what will happen with my X axis. It can be just straight, or I can make also some direction. I can give some direction to them. So now I can. So now this is my perspective grid and also can be like uh, Kim Jong-gi uh, we can have it in our heads without drawing and uh, so we can bend it in, uh, in every way but 
uh, it's need definitely some time to practice drawing this grid so you will make it like um, like your uh, fluent skill kind of you know so let's get it same picture Experiment, drawing some stuff, different perspective rules, and perspective patterns. Oh, no, it will be stronger here. Oh, cool. Here is house. Dog.
process so okay now i can now i can show some more examples Tag. so this one i analyzed already so let's check this one Так, so vanishing point somewhere here. I right now I look where is x, ah z z axis, like which stands for depths. So and what kind of quality is this line have? So in this picture is just like a straight lines. So I make this. Um, kind of star. Here. Also, this will be horizon line. Then I look for vertical lines. What kind of rules for vertical lines in this picture? So it's definitely curvature. So if I look on this right side here, I can see some extent. And then the left. Okay, so if talk take this on the left and this is on the right. So this again this case what I tell before. Uh, it's like it's here will be straight line or vertical. But interesting here somehow make it like this so vertical lines will be straight line in the vanishing point here but on the edges of picture they have same extent of curvature so but then following this basic principle we make a transition between straight line and curve line so we need to put in between like you cannot put more curve line here than uh, on the edge here so we need to make transition and it will look realistic kind of okay so uh and uh, for x axis which will be like parallel to horizon line kind of stuff like let's say same I look is this curved and uh, is there have any like inclination so here okay I look on the floor he have like this something like this so now I just project this um, to both here and again like draw in between so this will be like a transition okay so this perspective grid for this picture here Tuck. make some marks to show where is what Take. So usually like when I draw I will make like perspective grid 
then I will make like this sketch of uh, composition, like how I place stuff according to perspective grid. And uh, why, when I draw this kind of sketch, uh, you think like uh, story-wise, because you think like what located where, like what I show and where, and uh, you think how they related to each other in a space. So make sure proportions kind of, you know, at least all look correct or serve your purpose. And uh, also make sure they're located in a space realistically and uh, for this perspective grid is super helpful with perspective grid it feels like a cheating it's very easy to do you just kind of snap everything to perspective grid and it's like very fun very fun stuff to do so, so I, if me like i don't understand who who you no. yeah i know who you is but i mean it feels like mm, too much to use this uh, perspective grids in uh, Procreate or Manga Studio. Freehand is very easy to draw, but you need to make this like um, digital snapping to perspective grid. It's too boring because we will lost all this opportunity to make random grids and not only random grids but also make some uh, like how it's called happy accidents lucky accidents when when every line will be like little odd little uh kind of out of a place out of a grid and this would make uh, drawing have its like energy and uh, vividness so it's like it's not absolutely perfect so it have this kind of realistic also quality like close to real life because uh, like its show is not um, some kind of architectural project you know it's a uh, artwork it's little um, like have this kind of vibration it's made by human it's not perfect like nature also not perfect ever in an, in the nature things will be like little distorted little uneven but follow principles And when we when we use uh, digital tools to help with perspective, it just kills this energy, and uh, everything like start to look to dry. So for me, like if you start to use um, this uh, digital autom automation for perspective then i don't see a reason to draw you can just use 3d model or it's much more fun will be to make 3d model and uh, place it with a cool angle and then uh, imitate like hand draw hand drawing work 
with some automotive perspective support. Так, let's see, so this guy here. Hold on. So like this, I, I just um, play with stuff around. I want to make sure they on their place. And usually I do it with pencil. Here just for good picture, I use markers this time. So it's more clear. And Happy New Year again, everybody. I hope one more year without total world war three <laughs> i hope we will survive and, uh, make more drawings so kind of this stuff Так, so and then take black and I can start to make details. Oh my god, this brown is too dark. Next time I need to use lighter. No, anyway, so I just show you different stages. So one grid, second uh, sketch, number three. You'd start to draw details. So with this kind of iterative approach, every step is uh, fun. Every step is not too hard and uh, not too boring. We have like this like distribution of uh, tasks, you know, so it's like it's have like perfect balance. It's a little challenging but not overwhelming because if you don't have grid and you want like Kim jong Gi just draw immediately things in perspective it will be over hammer or it's just overwhelming so you just put this on yourself like extra um, um like you 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 need more resources extra focus on make sure you you need to kind of control all this vertical and uh, all this access you know you need to every time you make line you need to like check all space with every line but when i have grid okay i just follow my grid lines so it's uh my, um, It's very re big relief, so I have more energy to focus on the on details. I can enjoy process more without stress. Oop, still, cuts. So it's kind of point, and uh, everybody choose their own fun. Somebody want like what kind of let's say what kind of tension you want you want to challenge yourself drawing without grit or you want to 
more focus on ideas, on the context in your drawing and the speed. So um, this approach, it's actually help a lot with the speed. You will draw much faster. So it's like you draw accurate and very fast. Because uh, when you do it with pencil, just erase all the stuff very easily and you have clean accurate drawing and you can do any kind of complexity illustration it can be sketch or it can be a, a long painting with um, all this complex rendering very deep, a lot of details can be oil painting watercolor anything so i just no I, here i just show you some um, part of this process like so and when i have structure i put more details so from general we go into more particular from whole picture to elements of this picture and after like 10 years of drawing like this stuff you will also more fluent so you can skip sometimes steps even because it's simple perspective maybe some situations like a very simple perspective and you don't need grids And etc. Okay, so can keep drawing details. I'll just leave it here. Let's see next picture. Just just before before my dinner, I need to make some examples here. Like what's Have little time. Tack. Okay, so here we can see the horizon line is very high. It's vanishing point. It's about here. What happened with the um, okay, so it's like vanishing point. Let's look horizon line. Um, Z axis have a little curvature like this, and above it switch like this. Um, Y axis have like this curvature, like this. Kind of this. Okay, this Y and uh, X axis like this so this horizon line this x extend kind of, of curvature for x 
is here. So again, I will find the middle. Like, whoops. Like, make bit between horizon line and here. And fill it with the difference. So we have Z, Y, and X. Okay. Let's try. Almost finish. Okay, so kind of this 
I just look quick drawing of this. And uh, let's see this situation here. So another demonstration of uh, how perspective grid approach most convenient like um, you see horizon line or see the z так uh, y y axis so like this here So why? And uh, okay, and uh, X is something like this. So you can see how this vertical line on the props like a book, can, window, they all follow. They follow perspective grid. If you want a second episode with a Kim jong -il perspective, let me know in the comments. I will find some interesting illustration to break down. So here, uh, chair go out from. Uh, it's chair is not parallel to table, but uh, it's vertical lines. They follow grid. So again, like when you do this um, basic operations with uh, boxes. Uh, any kind of forms in the space again again and again more repeat you more you repeat this kind of process 
more easy and faster you work with it every next time so when i copy kim jong you like this uh next time if i draw something like similar kind of composition it will be more uh, natural for me to do because i already deal with this i already got some experience And all this like first drawings, first years of a drawing for artist is always super super hard. Everything feels so unnatural. You need to, if you want like good quality result, oh, it's so many struggle kind of. You feel like you need so much effort to get through process with so many like op operations you need to do and all this hard because you never did this before and more you do it more it's easy and until moment when you feel it's too easy there's another problem <laughs> when it's too easy you you start to kind of thinking how to make it interesting and how to make it little complicated so it will be interesting to do so you move plank higher you start to look best of the best artists and uh, try to kind of get to their level like you know It's always somebody better than you in something, so you always can find somebody from who you can learn no, about quality and uh, skill. And you can kind of ask questions like how they do it, how you can do the same. There are so many masters which is a level impossible to achieve. So if you are not born in a family of artists and uh, not start to practice from five year old, <laughs> like you know, not only practice from five year old, like whole your environment is artist from like you when you've been like in a in a how's called womb when you was inside your mother she was making paint paintings go to uh, museums listen lectures about art so you uh, you've been like super in the in the context all your family friends is artists like uh, all this stuff so if you are not like your life not like that there is some artist who is like this and uh, some of them their what's called the high achievers and uh, super hard workers so having a super good environment and having like super good discipline and uh, this uh, achievers kind of mindset makes them insane art artists so it's really very hard to follow their level so it's an in, in history it's plenty of artists like that so like when i was in art college we go to a museum and i watched some oil paintings of artists like 12 year old or 14 year old i said oh my god i still cannot do anything like this 
he was like 14 year old he made this kind of paintings it's like crazy like uh like you just go to art college and uh, 16 year old you have like zero zero skills and then you watch artists who make masterpiece and a 14 year old and they're like okay <laughs> So it's fine, you just need to know this, it's a fact, always somebody will be better than you, but it's good uh, news because you can learn from them, they like give you some direction, you can see what they do and you can, uh, like I say again, we can, we can break down their work, we can um, look uh, how they find solution and instead of reinvent bicycle we took we take uh, kind of what's called drafts of uh, bicycle that been made before us and we can make modification uh, like personal version of bicycle it's like this bicycle is have my personal touch in it It's like reflection of me and uh, no anyway like how I look at this is uh, uh, being like original artist is only one thing about art is only one aspect other aspect is just like oh it's making money like if you can make money with art uh, it's pretty great life you have you can do what you love you have money from this okay is this is already enough you don't need to prove anybody anything you don't need to be like greatest artist in the art history you know you and the third aspect uh, process it's uh, one of the best thing people can experience in their life you know it's like drawing sometimes feels like you know like if you're like a fly or you drive like you're a pilot of formula one you know it's like like oh, it's so cool super uh intense feelings you know so again uh keep our own goals in mind and don't be distracted too much with kind of everything together like don't want to be everything because like sometimes I see this kind of no I have tendency everybody have tendency sometimes to look somebody artwork and be a bit like a jealous or or um, discouraged like oh my god he's so young and he drew already much better than me why even I I try to draw right <laughs> up to you if if this is most important thing for you you want to be best then of course you can better go do something else uh, you're too late for this <laughs> oh hello happy new year oh cool yeah um, <laughs> thank you Kratos Sanatar Narma Kep Oh, uh, Nama Cap. Yeah, maybe can you send me in the Instagram Instagram message? So here's my CP sketch Instagram, because YouTube you cannot send pictures. In uh, Instagram you can send me picture in the message. I will I will see if I can help you something of this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this kind of for today uh, again happy new year for everybody and we'll do more tutorials soon uh, write any more questions uh, no 
emailed my I have my email is complicated is anyway better with Instagram mm. I don't want to show everybody my email <laughs> so yeah uh, if, any more kind of questions suggestions um, for as of next tutorials uh, write me in the comments write any comments for support channel every comments will be good yeah yeah happy